Uh, welcome back to another episode of the uh, crossover. Uh, again, we're not talking about design. This is a follow-up on the uh, uh, other uh, session I did uh, last time. We were comparing on the oscilloscope how much of the proximity of two inductors could have on each other. So basically we're trying to see if you're building a crossover how close can you put inductors together and in what angle. Like when you have two flat ones, one same plane basically, how close would can they be and uh, the interaction and if you have them at a different angle what's the interaction as well. Uh, also this becomes more complicated when you have four or even sometimes more inductors. How do you orient them so they don't interact together uh, and ruin uh, the whole uh, sound system? Uh, this time the debate is, uh, okay, so they do pick up uh, from each other, but can we actually hear it? So the simple way to, do, to deal with it is to uh, connect uh, one uh, uh, inductor to a speaker, it's a mid-range, small tiny mid-range in this case, and we have the other inductor which is uh, connected to the signal generator, and we're trying to see will they pick from each other. So if we put them on top of each other, you can really hear it, of course, it's very loud and clear. But if you put them close to each other, you can actually hear it pretty loud as well, at least from my end anyway. We move it about one inch, I can still hear it. Two inches, I can still hear it. Four inches, five inches, I can still hear it. And almost a foot before it stops to be audible in the speaker. This is on the same plane. And the same idea as last episode, Putting them on a right angle to each other, the noise is gone. See, so this is horizontal, and this is uh, at the right perpendicular plane to each other. This time I'm, uh, I zoomed in closer so you can actually hear uh, the sound, and uh, again, uh, close to each other, almost touching. You can obviously hear it. This is about one inch apart, hear it, two, three, four, it's almost starting to be less audible from this distance but if you put your ears on it you can still hear it, I got the speaker close to the microphone here. Uh, so again the moral of the story again, putting it on a vertical angle but not super close because you can still here a tiny bit, just one or two inches makes a big difference. So the moral of the story is yes you can hear it and that will affect the end result by far. For us audiophiles trying to get that one percent of improvement we're talking here about by putting two, uh, two uh, inductors close together like this you're getting a huge cross cross-contamination between frequencies. This is an example of uh, four inductors trying to live in harmony together. So basically we have uh, two flat ones on the same angle. Because they're on the same angle they're as far away from each other, but in this case about seven to eight inches. Uh, the other two are at the right angle of plane, so we have this one at a different, so the plane is a a right angle to that one and they can be as close as two to three inches in this case a little more and same with this one and that one uh, they can also be because of their uh, different uh, right angle plane they can also be closer same as this one this one those two are about three inches apart that's as close as you probably want to get those together uh, so kind of move a little bit of distance between the two maybe uh, so something like this, I mean this is just a one example, Just it's, it's always good to see like okay well how do I put those four together uh, because you start to run out of angles and uh, when you start to run out of angles then you gotta go with distance um, and the distance is you're looking at least five inches if they're on the same plane, ideally almost a foot 
uh, if you can. So uh, just to give you an idea like how much of an interaction inductors could have together. If you guys would like to uh, see uh, uh, how does the more technical about uh, details about uh, this uh, issue, I did another episode where I actually link the uh, uh, inductor to an oscilloscope and you can actually see how the transfer of the waves is happening and the amounts and all more details about it. I will link that uh, episode uh, uh, description and in the description below I mean. If you find this video helpful please subscribe and uh, thumbs up and thanks again. Hope you enjoyed it.